What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Hope everyone's doing well out there and you're jamming and feeling good about the guitar. We're going to take the regular pentatonic scale that kind of everyone learns uh, at first, and we're going to add one note to it. So we have a uh, kind of, it creates new patterns, and I think it'll really help spark some new ideas when you're soloing. Even if you barely know the pentatonic, this is a cool little, uh, little thing to add to it. Uh, also, if you want to get deeper into learning guitar, you can always try guitarjams.com. Uh, you can try it for free for three days, in fact. The link's right there. And you can click it, check it out. I really appreciate that stuff, obviously. It supports all this. Uh, but anyway, let's zoom in. I'm going to show you two positions of the scale, and then you go off on your way and uh, see if you can use it to jam. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to show you this, uh, we're going to call it the minor pentatonic scale add nine. So we're, instead of a five note scale, we're throwing one extra note in there called the ninth, and now our patterns look a little different. And this is something that you can always try. I'd say it's in the style of somebody, but pretty much every famous guitar player uses some form of this. So in the style of everyone you like. So let's take the D minor pentatonic scale, because that's the uh, key I was just doing that jam track in. Index finger right there on the root. So this is the E root position. That's how I like to refer, refer to it. I always think of uh, where my roots are. So we got that, and we have the normal minor pentatonic scale. 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10, 13. So something cool about this position of it is it's typically the one that everyone learns first. Uh, it's what I learned first. And the nine is in three spots. So there's three new fingers to add to the scale. The first one being the 12th fret right there. So if that's the low E string, that's the same thing on the high E string. So that's the nine right there. And you heard, you know, like Stevie Ray and Hendrix. You know, switching out that nine instead of that. But you can also play it, where I'm showing you right now, with both. This stays the same. This stays the same. This can stay the same. So now you have a new thing there. But that ninth tone uh, actually also exists right here on the ninth fret of the G string. I just incorporate it in there a little bit. Now, uh, the G string where it happens, there's a few different ways to finger that when you get to it. One is you could play the 10 to 12 on the D string, and then just get your index finger to that ninth fret of, of the G string. And then middle finger, pinky. Now you could plant your pinky on the 12 of the D if that is easier for you, like, or you 
huge stretch and just always use your ring finger there. I tend to uh, use my ring finger going this way and then plant my pinky on the way back. And then other times I might be in my normal pentatonic thing and then just slide that index finger back and you've got it. normal stuff that you already know can always be mixed in with kind of this new six tone scale oops six tone scale concept okay the other position that you can play this well you I mean you can do it anywhere but the other one I'm going to show you is the D minor pentatonic scale add nine same thing that we just did but with the root on the A string so D the D tone on the A string is the fifth fret and it kind of follows a very similar path here. We're going to go five, seven, eight. Just like we did here. You'll hear it's the same tone. Then we have five, seven on the D, five, seven on the G. And this is where it's fun in this position because uh, it lays across our fingers really nicely because now. Normally in the minor pentatonic, we'd, we're going to go to the sixth on the B, but we also have that nine right there on the fifth of the B. And then up to here on the eighth of the B. Also uh, able to play the five eight on the low E. Five and eight on the high E. some instances where you're going to want to just do a straight blues and that's okay but this is a cool note to know that's there and to experiment with and uh, to hopefully uh, keep adding new ideas to your arsenal all right that was the lesson hope you had fun with that uh, it should open up uh, a couple new pathways for you hopefully and that's my intention uh, remember you can try guitarjams.com a lot more theory and scales and all that stuff there uh, that link right down there Really appreciate you checking this lesson out, and hopefully some others too. Take care, and uh, we'll see you later.